Oh, yes, the boys have won again. Oh, fantastic. Yes, Manly. I'm hot. Yes, what a win. All right, NRL vids. Zero nine zero back here with another video today. And it's my review on the match is just that just finished between the Broncos and the Seagulls. Manly get the win 50 to 6. This is the biggest ever win over Brisbane as well. This is fantastic. What a, what a night for me. Fantastic. And this is a great night for me, all Manly fans and that. Look, first of all, I wish I was at the game. And how the times changed, huh? From last year, 50 points to 6. This time last year, defeated Brisbane in the Magic Round. Lost 38 points to nil. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say. I feel like going off my fucking nut right now. I feel like fuming and getting really angry. But I'm not doing that because I want to try and, you know, try and be honest as possible about the game and not take it in a way where I can really go off and say some bad stuff. Because I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to go to the extent tonight because it's not the night to do that. But I'm not going to sit here and defend that shit for another, for another, another time again this year. I'm not going to defend that. You know, the amount of errors we made tonight, the amount of knock-ons we did, you know, it's fucked, and, um, it just, it's, it hurts. You know, it hurts. Especially when I sit there for the first time this year, live, live reacting and live streaming and me in the game, I sit there for the very first time watching the game, I'm like, okay, I'm looking forward to it because my laptop is, is actually holding up for once to live stream a game. With, with it being manly and especially being magic round as well, it's, it's special, it's a special round. But then, of course, I have issues where it is to do with manly. Of course, of course, it's a, it's a good night, a good build up to the night, of course. But when it gets a game day and when we play, we, we're a completely different side. I'm just sick of the fact that every single time where we're expected to play well, where it's expected to be a good game, you know, against Rabbitohs, we were expected to have that good game against them. Against Sharks, it was, it was expected to be a big game against them too. You know, Roosters round two, we're expected to be having a good game against them as well. Round one against Penrith, you know. It's every time on the main event where you seem to fucking fail to deliver, and I'm sick of it. It's not just that, though. I'm not I'm not really too concerned or too going to go too particular into that, you know, how we struggle on the main main game, you know, on, on the, yeah, pretty much the main game. But it's more to do with the fact that we just are not the same size as what, as what we were last year in 2021. You know... You know, we, we barely had anyone, anyone out tonight. We didn't have Schuster, we didn't have Saab. But Schuster hasn't been playing all year. So what, what what's he going to cause as a difference? Saab's been shit all year. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm really lost of words. I don't think... I, I, I just think for me, for my health and just um, in general, just uh, how I am, I shouldn't be doing this review. I think I should just get quit it and not do it now. So... Everyone, we know what happened. Mainly, were just terrible tonight. Broncos were too good. And credits to Broncos. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and not give credits to the Broncos because they were great tonight. Um, when you win four games in a row, it definitely indicates that you're heading in the right direction. So, and with them, how they are so far this year, they obviously are. So, congrats to them. Congrats to the Broncos. Go really well this year. But as for mainly, they're, no, they're, they're shit. They're, there's just nothing I can be positive about that side at the moment. Um, a lot of questions to be asked, like, I think. Um, I've got to go. Sorry. Fuck!